July 20th, 1969. One of humanity's greatest achievements as Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin land on the moon. It was a remarkable engineering feat and a true show of bravery 50 years ago. Unlike their ride up to space aboard a Saturn V rocket, the moon lander did not need an aerodynamic design. There's virtually no atmosphere on the moon, no wind to account for, no air to breathe, no weather to get excited about. But temperatures can be extreme. In full sun, the temperatures can spike to over 250 degrees. That's over 100 degrees hotter than it can get on Earth. And on the dark side, temperatures can dip well below negative 280 degrees, crushing the Earth's coldest temperature of negative 129. The moon's gravity is only okay, one sixth of down the down Earth's. The so when Neil Armstrong stepped out on the moon, his total weight, spacesuit and all, okay, was about 60 good. pounds much less than the 350 pounds back on Earth. For roughly two hours, Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong explored the moon, taking photographs, collecting rock and soil samples, and installing instruments to monitor seismic activity and other physical properties of the moon's surface. And they, of course, proudly planted the American flag. Over the next three and a half years, 10 more Americans would step foot on the moon. Apollo 12 landed at the Ocean of Storms, exactly four months after Apollo 11. Disaster was amazingly averted during Apollo 13. And in 1972, the Apollo era ended after Apollo 17 left the moon. The last three missions all brought a moon buggy to explore more of the moon's barren landscape and conduct additional science experiments. Every mission that successfully landed on the moon made it safely back to Earth. A trip that takes nearly three days. When the Apollo 11 command module smashed back into Earth's atmosphere at around 25,000 miles per hour, the protective heat shield reached nearly 5,000 degrees. While inside the capsule, it was chilly, with temperatures in the 50s. That's right, Jim. But over the Pacific, it was 82 degrees, winds are 20 miles per hour, and waves up to six feet. The recovery team aboard the USS Hornet was staging some 950 miles southwest of Hawaii after the threat of thunderstorms made the primary landing site too dangerous. As the astronauts descended, three massive parachutes were deployed, slowing the capsule to around 22 miles per hour as it splashed down roughly 15 miles away from this recovery ship. The American heroes were quickly retrieved and brought back to the USS Hornet amidst cheers and celebration. So this summer, when you gaze up at the moon, think of this remarkable achievement that took place 50 years ago. We honor the brave astronauts and the incredible team that made this all possible, and we look forward to the future as the U.S. hopes to return back to the moon by 2024. Godspeed and good luck.